When two cars collide head-on at 50 miles per hour each, is it the same as one car hitting a wall at 100 miles per hour, or just 50? It sounds terrifying, but physics says the answer might surprise you. Mythbusters line up a car against a solid steel wall, 15 feet long, pristine, ready for destruction. The car rockets up to precisely 50 miles per hour, and then, a spectacular smash. The car crumples down to 11 feet 7 inches, and the data logger records a bone-crushing 58 Gs. But what happens at 100 miles per hour? The car launches again at double speed. The result? Total carnage. The wreck shrinks to just 8 feet in length, and the G-forces skyrocket to a mind-blowing 185 Gs. So here's the question. If two cars crash head-on at 50 miles per hour each, do they look like the 50 mile per hour smash, or the 100? Two cars, both accelerating to 50 miles per hour. They collide head-on in a breathtaking explosion of metal. When the dust clears, the data logger shows about 52 Gs, almost identical to the single car against the wall at 50. That means the myth is confirmed. But what about two cars, head-on, both at 100 miles per hour? 